Atlanta United just made it official. Franco Escobar is a five stripe. What's up, Five Stripe fam? AJ here. If you're new around these parts, we make videos on all things Atlanta United, and we try to have some fun while we do it too. So consider subscribing and never miss a video. Now let's get into the transfer. The 22-year-old Franco Escobar comes from Argentina's Newell's Old Boys and is a defender that can play right back and center back. He's tenacious when defending and doesn't mind getting stuck in on a tackle. He's pretty good with the ball too, and can get into the play going forward quite well, as you'd expect from an Argentine. Contract specifics weren't detailed yet. He's also a discovery signing, which means clubs scout and sign players who are not yet under contract to MLS and who are not subject to another way to assign players, i.e. super draft, etc. To sign a player through the discovery process, the club must first place the player on its discovery list, which reportedly there are 10 for each club. I see him ultimately as our right back, because Tata favors players who can play with the ball at their feet. But I can see him spelling LGP or Parkhurst and would feel comfortable with him doing so. But we asked you guys on Twitter what position you think he'd play and 88% of you so far said it would be as a right back. What do you think of the addition to our squad? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now to everyone's favorite, confusing MLS money and salary regulations. General allocation money, targeted allocation money, also known as GAM, TAM. Greens, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you we learned that MLS announced they upped their targeted allocation money, specifically their discretionary TAM, to up to 2.8 million for each club per year. This means simply that each club can spend money on bringing more higher priced talent if they decide to do so. Previously, TAM for each club was 1.2 million. So this means teams can use up to 4 million. With this new rule change, we can maybe buy down Tito and Joseph and make a run at even more players. Exciting days ahead as this might mean more international and domestic talent could be on their way to Atlanta. That's it for us today. Vamos ATL. We'll see you in the next video.